think I struggle with like being comfortable being different. Man, I'm you know, I'm not pretty enough. I'm not I'm not doing enough with my life. I don't have someone that loves me like like boyfriends or whatever and confidence on a daily basis. Like some days I feel great and other days I just don't feel that great. I don't like to admit that I'm different than anyone else. Um, looking different isn't always accepted. I don't like when people stare at me because it like makes me feel self-conscious. Like they're just focusing on my prosthetic and not like me as a person. Sarah reached out to me over the summer about this nonprofit that she wanted to start called She Lift and had this revelation on top of Highland Mountain and her idea just really resonated with my experiences skiing and she asked if I wanted to be involved and without skipping a beat I said yes. So for several months now I've been on the search for a group of women who are really looking to change the way that they see themselves. And I think I finally found the perfect group of girls. And what better way to teach them a little bit about confidence and self-care and self-love than taking them up a mountain and teaching them how to ski. We're gonna teach them that they don't need validation or acceptance from anybody but themselves and they're totally gonna knock it out of the park. So the girls just landed, so I'm headed to the airport to pick them up. Hi! How are you? Good! How are you? Hi, girls! At the end, they're all going to leave feeling a new sense of confidence and able to talk about themselves and carry themselves in an empowered way. So I'm excited to see that transformation happen. I'm so excited to bond with the other girls, kind of have heart-to-hearts, and then I'm also excited to learn to ski because I've always wanted to. Hi, I'm Hi. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. I just love being able to see sincere, genuine smiles on these girls' faces who we know from their stories need it. So tomorrow, they're going to be skiing for the first time, which is so exciting. Yeah, these are the shields. Oh, oh my goodness. I want to be able to open up to all the girls on the trip and everything and like share my own experiences with what it's like growing up at an EMPT. I think everyone's a little bit nervous, but settling in, which is a good thing. We're here at the Strafe store where my good friends are gonna set the girls up with their own ski suits. It's nice to be around other people that get, that get it, like, that understand you, that understand where you're coming from, um, don't judge you based on what you look like. Fits good. So excited for today. Got my boots. Fits great. I'm home. Today is the first ski day, and we're here in Snowmass. We just boarded the gondola. We got the girls all geared up at Challenge Aspen. They're in their matching outfits and everyone's really excited. So I can't wait to get the girls on the slopes and see how today goes. You are my navigator. We can take the long way home. We can take the long way home. I'm not gonna get going too fast. Okay, just trust yourself. Okay, okay. Let him go, let him go. Let him go. Just what we were doing on that, mm -hmm. a little bit more slow. I don't think I'm doing it. With a tank full of daydreams, it feels I'm blind with your love. The girls are doing fantastic. I think they're really surprising themselves by getting out here and having some fun. It's a little bit of a challenge for a few of the girls more so than others, but that was to be expected. And overall, I'm just super impressed by everyone's morale and their excitement to be up here trying it. It's super scary and you know, they're being brave and they're putting on great faces and smiles and that's totally commendable. So I think they're doing awesome. We can take that away. Yes. I think connecting with the girls has been my favorite part and getting to know them and just understanding that we're not alone and there's other people who are feeling the exact 
same way as me. There is something in the water In my mind's a little blank There are answers in the breezes Softly whispering Skiing was amazing. I'm so glad that I did it. It's hard to believe that the trip is over. There was definitely a learning curve for me, just trying to get the basics down, but the second day, I just felt amazing. Like, I picked it up and I was just sliding down the run. It was awesome. Being able to let go of my instructor and be, like, gliding on the snow by myself, and it's just, like, the most powerful and, like, personally, like, uplifting experience. I feel like these are all, like, my best friends that I've known my whole life. Like my high school friends. I felt like they were my sisters, you know, I can talk to them about anything. And today was really cool because I was curling Catherine's hair and I taught her how to do it and she did it herself and she didn't think she was going to be able to do it. So that was a really cool moment. And then up? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Curling my hair was like the most exciting thing. I, I don't know, there's so many things that I just like don't do and then I feel like now I want to push myself to do. <laughs> I did so much better skiing than I ever thought that I could have, and I absolutely cannot wait to do it again. After many restless nights, oh God, I'd be like, can't wait to shred the mountain. You know, <laughs> learn how to speak. Yeah, but this is not the moment to tell your deepest nerves. <laughs> Where do you put this, though? I don't know. 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 I don't